Tim, you're back. Yeah, I'm back. Had a great holiday, thanks. Yeah? Yeah. Got a bit of a suntan there. That's it, yeah. It's good, eh? If some of them can take holidays, I don't know. Anyway, what was, uh, what was last month's photo competition? The competition was time. Yeah. The judging's just finished. So. Yeah, the votes are in. That's Everyone's uh, public voting again, which went really well. And uh, the winner was Thomas Kastner. I hope I've uh, pronounced that correctly. And that was his winning entry and a lovely shot of the sands of time slipping through someone's hands That's there. It. That was one of our favourites, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. was. Yeah. Really, um, pleased. really, uh, really nice shot. And what does, what does Thomas win? What's ah, he got? Thomas wins one of our great photography training courses, one of these here. Fantastic. And he also wins this great low pro bag. Wow, excellent. So, well, congratulations, Thomas. So uh, you'll be picking up your prizes very soon. We'll be popping those in the post to you. And uh, what's next month's theme? Oh, no, current theme, sorry. The current theme is dark. Dark, that's right. And we've already been having some great entries in for that. So uh, you've still got... Uh, the end of the month. End so. of the month yet to get your entries in. So if you want to stand a chance of winning some of our prizes, then get your entries in. Subscribe on our website and uh, you can enter your photo for the theme of dark. Now let's just have a quick review of the top five shots and the votes that they received. So as I said, this was uh, Thomas Kastner's with 2,185 public votes. And then in second place, we had Peter Bed. Bed Nars, I think it was, with this watch shot, which again, lovely shot there. That's really clever, that um, one, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. That had 915 votes. Unlucky though, Peter, no prizes for second place here, but uh, congratulations, yeah. better luck next time. And then uh, we had Chris Jin with this Beechwood images with these old tree stumps or bits of trees on the beach there, lots of time periods passed for those to end up in that condition lovely shot and then duke henry was in fourth place with this hourglass image um which was a really nice graphic it's got some lovely colors in that one doesn't it? it yeah and it's um quite a graphic representation of time something a little bit different there and then uh, quite a morbid image would have probably gone quite well in this month's theme for dark, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this one was uh, by Niazi uh, with 491 votes. Um, and that one was also voted by the public as the top or the fifth most popular one in our um, subject matter time. Anyway, so uh, if you want to follow what we're doing, keep up to date with our competitions and what's going on at Carl Taylor Photography, Follow us over on our Facebook page. You can see the link to our Facebook page. Oh, that's Tim's phone. You can see the link to our Facebook page coming up on the screen now. And if you want to see the uh, current competition, you went in, enter the current competition, you'll also see the link coming up now. Okay, thanks very much. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Goodbye.